hey guys welcome back to the channel it's farmhouse mama um so i'm here just to give you a really quick update on what's going on with my garden i apologize it is a little windy out here so we are going to try and get through this as quick as possible so i have uh most of my flowers out of my four foot greenhouse because i'm letting them soak up some of this vitamin d and get a little sun on them excuse the music that's my neighbors coming home from work um so yeah we are going to start over here all right so i don't know if i showed you guys the last time if i had any uh dill or parsley growing i can't remember if there was anything growing the last time i did a video but look what's going on now so i got some dill back there and i got some parsley popping up in the front and i got my uh pineapple sage here and i think i got something going on in the back here if you look at that little piece right there i think that's some oregano so it's gonna be a mixture of stuff in there um then in this one right here this yellow pot i think i got some zinnias or something like that growing there's my marigold in the tan pot and in the um red pots are marigolds as well i got something going on in this yellow pot over here i think it's just flowers though and then i have some chives some sweet basil and some sage going on in um these three pots here that i did from seeds so i have those in the four foot greenhouse i can't wait to see what uh those do then i have some i don't honestly y'all i don't know what's in this pot right here so this is going to be a surprise i dropped some seeds in there but i don't know if it is vegetables or if it's just flowers all right so these are how my bushes are doing i think my bushes are getting really big especially this one right here they were like kind of jacked up last year but they are getting better i just um gave all of my flowers some 411 i'm sorry <laughs> some 511 i think 411 was the name of a nightclub i don't know anyway um i just gave everybody some 511 including my bushes and all of my flowers and um i have some green beans that i planted in here and that's one right there that's popping up i got some i don't know i think this is nasturium I call it nasturgeon. I, I don't know why. I know that's wrong, but I think that's nasturium. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I got some of that going on in there. And look at my strawberries, guys. I am actually getting some flowers here and some in here too. So I should have some strawberries. And this is my broccoli okay so i got some broccoli in here and my broccoli is showing off look at that that broccoli is showing off and i got some um uh marigold growing in here and i also have some onions that are coming back up in here so the reason why i have onions in there is because you guys know i don't have any patience so i dropped some seeds and when they weren't doing what i wanted to do them to do because I didn't think they would do anything I went ahead and got some starter plants and planted um, something in there so that's why a lot of this stuff that I do grow is going to be quite a surprise to me because some of this stuff I can't remember what I dropped in here but I got some more um, onions growing right there so um, and the marigold is helping with the bugs so it's not eating up my leaves as badly as it was so some of this is water from me just watering them and some of them the bugs are getting to them but i guess you know once the marigold starts to grow and get bigger 
that will um you know it'll help more once i get more marigold i almost fail y'all okay in these pots right here i have some um snapdragons and i'm just letting them get some sun i usually keep those on the porch and i planted some creeping jenny in there so the creeping jenny is going to fall out and kind of cascade over the pots and so that's going to be really cute um i'm going to insert a photo of this chair that i'm going to be getting from kirkland's um ordered it it's a butterfly chair and it's yellow and it goes in the garden it's so cute y'all so i'm gonna insert a picture so you guys can see that okay and so then over here those are my celebrity hybrid tomatoes and onions and those were both starter plants and look at how big they've gotten from the last video um, these are, I think these are more tomato plants and pepper plants, and those are taking off really well. And then over here, I did the same thing. I have some, um, cucumbers growing in here, and then I put some green beans in there before I put the cucumbers in there, got impatient, and look at those green beans popping up already. So I'm excited about that. Over here, I have a, uh, what is this, my banana peppers, my gypsy peppers, and my gypsy peppers is doing really good. And um, God knows what else is in here. And that's my eggshells and my coffee grinds. Over here, I have my, um, what is this, green peppers. And I got a couple of green peppers going on here, y'all. I'm going to see if I can let y'all see them without breaking them off. But, um, excuse me, my hands are ashy. My hands are going to stay ashy, too, because I've been washing them like crazy. So, let me see if I can find a green pepper for you real quick. Okay. So, you see that one right there? I know. Don't look at my hands. And I got another one going somewhere else. My eggplant is doing okay. It's getting more leaves on it, so that's good. I got some stuff growing down in there. Don't know what that is. That's going to be a surprise. But I also have some marigold in this bag as well. And then over here, my, um, what is it? My zucchini. My zucchini didn't survive the frost, so I just kind of pulled off and I'm thinking maybe I should pull them off here so it can grow back but this is not it's starting to get more leaves on it now but it wasn't doing well because it kept getting the frost it wasn't doing well with the frost that was out here because it's still been a little below uh, normal temperatures out here but it's about 70 degrees today then it's supposed to warm up this weekend so I just kind of got this open and letting it soak up as much as this vitamin D as possible. And I also put some Epsom salt on here. So um, I don't dilute my, my Epsom salt. I just kind of sprinkle a little bit on the top and then I water it and I let my um, Epsom salt just break down naturally over time. You don't have to do it like that, but that is what is working for me. And then I have something over here. These are flowers. I do know that. I'm not sure what kind of flowers I planted in there, but those are flowers. And then I planted the rest of the nasturium. Again, I think that's what you call it. And I got some watermelon, some Charleston gray watermelon growing in here. And um, I had those in a, I had them in in a um little container that they come in and then i decided that i would just go ahead and plant them because i didn't want them to die or wilt. yes i am trying to grow some watermelon in there so um everything is doing beautifully i am really excited about this year's uh garden 
garden. I'm really excited about it because uh, every year I learn something new and every year it's getting a little bit better. All right guys, so I think that's gonna do it for today's video. I just wanted to briefly come in and show you what's going on. A lot of these um, will be going back into the greenhouse once it um once the sun stops shining once the sun be right before the sun go down i'll take them right before my husband get home i'll take them and put them back in the greenhouse and let them do their thing in there and i'll go ahead and close this up because i know it's going to get cooler later on and i want to keep the temperature at at least 55 degrees so yeah that's it but look at that look at my I have to go and get me some more of those tomato cages because I should have put it over top of this broccoli because this broccoli is just going wild but I know I'm going to need it for my um, strawberries and I'm going to try to vine my green beans we'll see and then once it stays a certain temperature at night I can remove this greenhouse at least the big one I'm gonna take this one down and put my tomato cages in there so everything can